Hi everybody, it's Janet and I'm here for Islet Outlet today. I'm a design team member and I'm gonna show you a bunch of ideas and things. I'm so glad you're here and um, the idea is we can show you what's new for Islet Outlet and give you lots and lots of card ideas and things you can do at home for relatively low amounts of money and produce really great projects. So um, before I go too far, I want to make sure I thank Kate Griswold and the design team who sent me just tons of stuff. Not Kate, but the design team. And uh, Kate for holding this and doing everything. It's awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is change my camera so that you can see my desk and the camera's gonna be a little weird for a second or two, but it should straighten out. So bear with me a moment. Okay. Hopefully you can see everything now. And um, I'm gonna go through first just the selection of products that Islet Outlet carries. There's lots of things, but there are three main categories of things. And that is going to be first uh, bling and enamel dots. And here's just a few examples. I can't show you a ton in the amount of time that I have, but these are some great examples of shaped enamel dots, uh, pearls, gemstones and glitter and then we have strips of things too that you can cut apart and put on and some fancy things like this as well so we're going to show you that then we also have these wonderful flowers and they come in many different colors i'm thinking like nine or so maybe there's 12 but uh they come in three different shapes in every package and they are wonderful for using in your crafts quick and easy and they look great. Another category we have is washi tape. And there is just tons and tons of washi, shape, of washi tape that is in the store. There are three kinds. There's a traditional kind like this. These two are really cute. Um, they come in different widths as well. And then we have uh, a number of foil so this is an example of the foil and so is this one. And you know, the foil is great because it's really on point for what's hot right now. Uh, foiling is really big and you can get that foil look uh, really fast, really inexpensively, and it is right in with what's popular at the moment. Then there is also the glitter tapes. This is an example of that and this one. And you'll notice when I rub my fingers over here, nothing escapes. None of this glitter gets away from you, so it's very clean to work with and really fun as well. So that covers two lines. We also have some stamps and things. Um, you can go check that out, but they come in coordinated groupings. Our third is, of course, our eyelids and brads. So you can get brads of all types, sizes, and shapes, and there's many different eyelids as well. Um, this is an example of how the brads come. They come in packages. Generally, there's about 12 or more in a package. Oftentimes, you're going to see more than one type or shape or color of whatever brad. So there's, uh, it's the set idea, right? You've got more than just one. You don't have to buy uh, five things to get different looks. You probably only get, need to buy a couple. So uh, that works really great. Now I'm going to talk about some of the show specials, well really just the show special that we have today. This is 20% off everything using coupon code 20 mega meat. So go to islet.com and put in your order, use this code and you'll get 20% off of everything, even on sale items. So it's a wonderful deal. Go check it out. I want to start off by showing you the new brad, the newest brad this month and they are records. I showed you the package a minute ago. That's what they come in. Um, but there are three records in different colors. So we've got the beige, red, and yellow. Always trying to give you some options. And then there are two smaller, like LP45s compared to the big ones, in green and blue. So lots of fun options with that. Um, I've got a couple cards to show you made with them. First off, made by Susan Creech, 
And this uses a couple of our brad sets. First of all, we have the music note brads, and then we've got the record brad. And then what she did is she printed this out uh, and cut the pattern for the, um, I guess it's the sound pattern, and then put washi tape behind there to get all the colors. Now I think you could get this look by printing something uh, on it. Uh, I think the sound graphic here is probably pretty readily available. You could print that out along with your sentiment and kind of create the same thing with a little bit less work. And it turned out awesome. So it's a great idea for those records. The second one I'm going to show you is from Don Mercedes. This is very Michigan appropriate. Um, and it has uh, some fun things going on. She used some vintage maps to point out Detroit and then she followed on the theme of classic cars. This is the uh, classic car brads and there's four different kinds in that pack and four colors and um, she used three of them here. Then we have the woman's eyeglasses. This is a hot pink. It also comes in black in the set and then there's that record again in yellow. Super cute and uh, a great theme. So this is the new brad available. Uh, right now, so go out and find that in our website and take advantage of that awesome set. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you what last month's Brad set was, which was really popular, and you're going to see why too. This is the Sloth and Koala set. Both come in the pack. And here's a couple cards made with uh, those Brads that I wanted to show you. Uh, first, we have this one by Lauren Burgold, one of our design team members, and she sewed this wonderful uh, string that the sloths are hanging from, and then she used sloth washi tape for the background paper. Isn't that clever? She just put strip after strip after strip and then cut it out and sewed around it and made that, that wonderful uh, mat. It looks like designer paper, but it's not. Lots uh, easier and cheaper. Um, then we have one here I wanted to show you too, where we've got the koala bear, bear there. Thanks for going above and beyond. And uh, we've got the butterfly set. This is called the Balloon Brads Bright. We've got some sequins. I didn't mention sequins, but we do have those in the store too. And then there's some bling there put on. So pretty simple also, but so cute. And we're just printing these sentiments, a lot of them, and it's easy to do, inexpensive, and it looks great as well. I'm gonna show us a few more of these. This one is really clever. This is by Don Mercedes also, and it uses our green flowers as the leaves in this tree. So it's another use for the flowers that um, she thought of. And then of course we have the sloths hanging there, and these are our mini butterfly brads. They're so cute. Long day. Yeah, we've all had a few long days, I think. <laughs> all right. Next one I wanted to show you is um, from Susan Creech. And I like this one a lot because she used the cloud washi tape to make the background there of clouds. And again, when I initially looked at this, I thought it must be paper, but no, it's just two strips of washi. It's awesome. She, in addition to using the sloth brad, used the mini leaf brads at the tips of the branches and they're the perfect size for many of our die cuts and uh, tree stamps and stuff so I thought those were great to show you as options um, to stamping and coloring. The last one I'm going to show you in this set is a whole different direction. This is a baby card obviously. Now this could be used uh, as a baby card with a gift or it could even be used for a baby announcement. And so she used, and this is, um, sorry, this is Susan Matthews. She used the Chick Brad set, which has two different chicks in it, the koala, the sloth, and then she just created a scene to put them in. Very, very cute. Okay, before I go further, I want to tell you about a giveaway. We are going to give away this, these five brads, and these are all great for the season. We've got some flowers for spring. We've got the nurse's cap and stethoscopes. We've got jeans and t-shirts, the new records, and also the um, responder brads, they're called. 
So you can make some really cute cards with these, considering the time frame that we're in. And you will be eligible to win this if you will comment on the comment section and give us a Brad idea that you would like to see us put out. Because uh, Suzanne, the owner, decides on all the Brads and designs them and works with her manufacturers. So she's looking for ideas. Put an idea down. Doesn't matter if we've already got it, um, but you'll be in that drawing. And we'd love to see what you come up with. Okay, we also have recently come out with unicorn and rainbow Brads. These are adorable. Uh, here is one that's uh, just using some rub offs and some glitter letters. This is, of course, the rainbow Brads and this is washi tape. And I love the sentiment here, always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn and then be a unicorn. And she's also got in here the, um, the unicorn washi tape, very clever. And here's a nice one for a child. Uh, it's meant to be for a pick, you know, pick me up, I'm thinking of you, whatever, during this time when kids can't see their grandparents and aunts and uncles and other people that they wanna be with. And it uses the unicorn brads as strips of the um, gemstones and some background paper. And again, just a great card. And this one's really nice and large, five by seven size. Okay, here are a few I wanna show you real quick because they're just kind of my favorites. Um, this one is a wiper card. And it's so appropriate for the graduates. Our poor graduates have really gotten a raw deal this year and um, you're gonna be making graduation cards, I'm sure. And this is a great idea. You can get the instructions for it on the blog. Um, and the brads that we're using here are the graduation hat brads and the, the sun and cloud brad set. And then also we've got the star sequins on this. This is a really easy construction to make, actually. I've made some of these myself as well. Check it out if you wanna to try to make something like that. It's not that bad. This one I just love because, you know, as a crafter, I sew too a little bit. And I just think that Don Mercedes did a wonderful job on this. It's just so balanced and nicely done, but yet very simple and easy to do. The brads that are used on this are the dress form brads, and they come in like Gosh, silver, gold, white, black, and gray, I think, all in one set for lots of options. There's the scissor set and then the thread set, and the thread comes in different colors too inside the set. The clever thing is this background is actually washi tape. It's the measurement tape washi. It's pretty awesome, I think. All right, and last of kind of my favorites is this one. We Anybody who loves the wizard shows and books know what this is about, right? Um, so what we have here are several brads and washi tape. First of all, this is star washi tape in the background, just striped one on top of the other like we uh, showed you, like I showed you with the sloth. And uh, then we've got a little piece of gold glitter washi tape in here too. Now the brads that are being used um, is the wizard hat and lightning bolt brads. That's where we get the lightning bolt there. And then we've got, uh, what's it called? Wizard set. And that has the wand, the glasses, and the scarf. And it comes in the orange as well, for those of you who know what all that's about. Uh, then we have sketched owls. That's another brad set. And then books. Those books are awesome. There's a couple of different colors of those books as well. And then finally, there are these star glitter enamel dots. Pretty awesome work. I, I just love this one. I love them all, of course. <laughs> the design team does such awesome work. They really, really do. Okay, well, we're gonna move now into some things that are more fitting for the times we are in. So first of all, We've got a card by Susan Creech, and this is to thank a nurse in your life or to drop off as a thank you for an anonymous nurse because everybody in that prof profession needs some thank yous right now. And this is using the stethoscope and nurse's hat, and this is in the Nurse Brad set. She's also using the pink, red, and white 
Heart Brad set. And they come in those three colors plus different sizes. So that's why she has the two sizes, which works so nicely on this card. Next is a first responder thank you card. These are the responder brads, and this is in the set you're gonna get also if you win in our drawing. Uh, but it comes with the fire right there, the police and the ambulance uh, brads. And it's a nice simple layout as well. This is also some striped um, foil. It's a foil washi, so uh, again, a nice way to get that foil look really easily. And last in this theme is a card by Susan Matthews, and she had posted this in the blog without our Brad here, which is the Eagle Brads. Um, she was out of them at the time, and she just said, hey, guess what's going to be on this? Check out the uh, demo this weekend. So here it is, this pretty little uh, eagle, which fits so nicely. This is completely handmade. She made the flag with a white rectangle and put the red stripes on it. And then the blue uh, field of stars is created with just cardstock and our star uh, sequence. Then the heroes also has the sequins on it. And she mentioned that she made the sequins and the paper match by using some Copic markers. So very clever idea there too. All right, we're going to stay on the theme of <clears throat> the pandemic and try to get some fun and humor out of it. So these are from Susan Creech, and she has come up with some really funny and cute cards. Um, this one is so simple, and you can see that uh, you should wear a mask when you leave the anthill. And it says, well, I'll be fine. I have an antibody. Uh, how cute is that? So clever. And she's used the mini ant brads here. And this is just cardstock cut randomly like a hill. This could be made in minutes. I mean, the hardest part is, is uh, typing up and cutting out the sentiments here, right? Super cute. The next one is also pretty darn cute. It's a little darker, um, but it is a printout that she made. And I think she said she got this on the Cricut design space or design uh, website. What if this quarantine is really just the aliens fattening us up before the big harvest. Yeah, you wonder? <laughs> I hope not. And so what she did is she slit the uh, spaceship there so she could tuck those little aliens in and make it look like they were sitting in there. Super clever. And then she even put this little red um, gemstone there at the tip of the antenna to add something to it. Love it. Love that humor. Okay, next, staying with the humor, we're going to move on, but this time I'm going to show you some really tiny cards. And these are ATC cards, so artist trading cards. If you're not familiar with them, there is a whole host of people who love these. They trade them with each other, and they're fun uh, little pieces of art. So the printouts for this uh, were found by Susan Burgle. She came up with these uh, using the brads to make them even better. She found these printouts at Tailored Expressions and they're called Big Grumpy COVID-19 Sentiments. They're 100% free, there's several of them. And uh, I invite you to check that out too. But, so they're pretty humorous. Like, I thought my house was a mess for a lack of time. Nope, 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 nope. And what she used here was the Vacuum and Broom Brad set. So both of those come together. Same thing here, a shampoo essential. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, no, I think it's, I think shampoo might be essential, um, even still. So, but this uses the brush and hair dryer brad set. And then we've got stay home. I've been training for this for my whole life. And uh, this is using the uh, computer and headphone brads, which again, come in a set. Now she was kind enough to send me a card base to show you that you can take these little cards and actually use them on a regular sized A2 card. And she cleverly, again, made these backgrounds using washi tape. These are strips of washi tape to make this pretty black and white pattern of flowers. And the same thing for the dots behind. Now, if you take one of these and you just mount it on here, voila, you've got a full-size card 
and it looks wonderful. So much fun, quick, easy, especially when you've got the free, free brad. I'm sorry, <laughs> I saw my video was interrupted there for a second, but it's back. Um, but anyway, I meant to say that when you've got the free printout. Okay, so I'm gonna show you quick how to make one of these. And again, I have to thank Susan Burgold for doing this for me. This is the background piece, and it's just strips of paper. She used a border punch here. And we've got this printout. This is the ATC printout. You with the jeans on, why? Why would you wear jeans when you don't have to, I guess, right? It's kind of how things have been at my house. Um, and then I've got this little square, and I've got my jeans bread. So I'm just going to Go in here and punch a hole, put in my jeans, flip that over. I'm going to take off the adhesive backing on this. She's got some foam tape here already on there for me and everything. She's awesome, isn't she? And we'll put that on. I think I'm going to do it a little bit at an angle. Straighten that out. Maybe make that like so. And now I can put that on my card front. Now this is the ATC, that's what it was intended to be. But again, by putting it on a card front, you are good to go. Makes it so quick and simple. You can put it here. And I'd probably recommend putting a, a little piece of twine or something here. Uh, much like was done on this card, right? So I hope you enjoyed seeing that and how easy it is and just how fun these cards can be with the addition of these brads. It really adds an extra something that stamps and other things just can't do. And then with the addition of the washi tape, bling and so forth, you can really amp up these projects. So that will do it for me today. I'm a little bit over time, but I appreciate you sticking with me. Again, don't forget about the volume show special, 20% off of everything, 20 mega meat. And do keep commenting. I love all the comments and the ideas for Brad's. So thank you so much. I'll see you at another time, maybe in October. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.